You might assume that in a free country like Australia, there's no such thing as slavery, but it depends how you define it. Modern slaves may not be in chains or working in dingy factories, but slavery is alive and well in our community, often hiding in plain sight. And there's a bipartisan move in Australia's federal parliament to address it. Here's political correspondent Andrew Probin. More than 500 police officers take part in a raid on a multi-million dollar market garden north of Perth. Scores of foreign workers are reportedly being kept in cramped conditions. They're treated as visa overstays by authorities and face immediate detention and deportation. But are they illegal foreign workers or modern slaves? Slaves are hidden in plain sight right across Australia. So whether it's out on a farm you know, in regional Australia. It could be domestic workers, it could be forced labour, of course it could be women and young girls in the sex industry. Whether it's down at your local shopping centre, the nail bar, the Thai massage place, where, it's, where you get your car washed, how do you really know who those workers actually are and the conditions under which they're here? Some have their passports taken from them. If they're paid, it might be horribly inadequate or significantly docked. Others aren't paid at all. Take Sandra, who came to Sydney from the Pacific Islands to work as a domestic helper. I came to Australia with a family I knew back in my country, so I, they offered me a job as a housekeeper in a paid job. So I came to Australia with them. They really changed when they got me here. They took my passport. I was never paid, and they were always swearing at me, giving me a threat. Sandra's ordeal lasted three years until she confided her situation with a neighbour. I was so sick in the house too, and I really wanted to see my boys. And it was three years so long, and I didn't have any money. So I really uh, spoke to that lady to give me help. Please help me. I just want to get out of this house. She found refuge in a Salvation Army safe house for victims of slavery, the only one of its kind in Australia. I don't think we've really scratched the surface of, of what's out there. I don't know that we've been willing to actually acknowledge the scale and scope of, of what's probably out there in the community. Officially, about 300 slaves have been identified in Australia over the past dozen years. But the Global Slavery Index suggests the actual number is more than 4,000. The Salvation Army says many work in horticulture, as previously exposed on 7.30. This is a massive black economy, which is uh, a huge part of Australia's underground economy. Uh, and of course, some of these workers are part of industries, food industries that are supplying some of the biggest supermarkets in Australia. The government established a parliamentary inquiry earlier this year to consider whether Australia should follow Britain's lead and introduce legislation in the form of a modern slavery act. As it covers two offences, Firstly, of slavery servitude and forced labour and the offence of human trafficking. Britain's anti-slavery commissioner, Kevin Highland, a former high-ranking policeman, was invited to give evidence to parliamentarians. And that's the shocking fact that today we have more slavery across the globe than ever before. In the times of Wilberforce, in the 200 years of the transatlantic slave trade, it's estimated there were between 10 and 12 million people in slavery. Today, just today alone, it's estimated there is as many as 45 million people suffering across the globe in modern slavery. Britain had its own moment of realisation last decade when 19 illegal Chinese workers drowned in treacherous tidal waters off Lancashire. It's thought the Chinese were hired to gather cockles, a lucrative trade, but in an extremely dangerous bay where local knowledge is vital. The local fishermen and the fishermen that know what they're doing would not have been on this beach last night because they know not to go on in the dark. This awful, high-profile tragedy uncovered an ugly truth, that workers in slave-like conditions were part of the supply chain for many big businesses. It is hidden, like domestic violence in Australia, it's currently hidden within plain sight. Liberal Senator Linda Reynolds, a member of the parliamentary inquiry, says many victims are simply misidentified by authorities. There have been a number of recent cases in Australia um, for example, in my own home state of Western Australia, where there have been gangs of illegal workers. Now, they've been treated by Australian law enforcement as illegal, you know, people who've been working legally and overstayed visas. But in fact, on the published, you know, what we know about so far about the cases is they have all the hallmarks of modern slavery. 
we don't want to see um, slavery in our country, yet it is occurring, and we don't seem to have the legislative frameworks to deal with it. Labor Senator Lisa Singh has also been horrified to hear the extent of worker exploitation uncovered by the committee. I think the UK legislation is a really good benchmark to follow. It's obviously still relatively new, coming into effect in 2015. But I think we shouldn't stop there. Labor wants to force big companies to report on slavery within their supply chains, with fines for those failing to comply. We'll wait for the parliamentary committee, but we think that if you broadly get your top 1,000 companies, you will cover many of the areas which have caused concern in domestic uh, slavery allegations. I think what's so unique probably uh, about the issue of ending slavery is it does bring political parties together. Um, it's it's a, a great area of human rights work where, where everyone can, can work together to, to deal with a pretty, you know, an, old, a, an issue we thought disappeared a long time ago but sadly is still with us in our community. And the first step in eliminating modern slavery is awareness. There are many more people who are still slaved here and or in the situation like I was, I just really want to leave the message, come forward and ask for help, don't be scared and there will be, always be help.